Adobe Captivate 9 allows users to quickly and easily establish questions to set up a quiz. I'm going to demonstrate how we can do that with true and false questions um, quick, quick and easily. Uh, to start, I am on a new project. I'm on the title page. I can just double click, change the title to my quiz name. And then I'm going to go to the top of the page and I'm going to select quiz, question slide. And it's going to bring me a panel of various options. I'm going to choose true and false. And then I am going to pick the number of questions that I want. It defaults with one. And I'm going to choose two for this demonstration. I'm going to say they're graded, although I could do survey or pretest. I'm going to say OK. And this brings up a couple slides over to my left. It has um, true and false questions, the two questions that I um, established, and then it entered a slide for the quiz results. I'm going to start with my first question by double clicking where it says type the question here. My first question is the capital of Missouri is Jefferson City. This is a true statement. It's already selected as true, so that's I'm going to leave it alone. And then I'm going to go to the right side um, and where it says quiz, and I'm going to select that tab. I'm going to go to the top of the screen, and then it gives me a few options here. And we've already decided that this is graded, so I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to assign 10 points to this particular question, and it'll tally up all the points at the end of the quiz. Um, I could have a penalty if I didn't really want um, to give full credit if they got a question wrong. I'm going to leave the uh, numbering sequence alone, but I have different options if I wanted to. And the caption, if a user gets the answer correct, will pop up and say, you got the answer correct and hit um, Y to continue or anywhere else on the screen. But I really don't want that, so I'm going to uncheck it. And then there is also the option of a uh, caption that says incomplete. Um, if a user tries to bypass a question, um, uh, it'll pop up and say you must answer the question before continuing. But I don't really want this either, so I'm going to uncheck it. And then last, it has a caption that reads what happens if the answer is incorrect. In this particular instance, it is the failure message of one and it says incorrect, click anywhere or press Y to continue. I don't really want that either, so I'm going to choose none, so that will go away. I'm going to add a clear, a back, and a skip button. So the users that are taking the quiz have the option of going back, skipping the question, clearing the answers that they've chosen, or submitting the quiz question. I'm going to move on to my next slide, and I'm going to put in my next true and false question. I'm going to follow the same sequence of events that I did. I'm going to do the capital of Kansas is Kansas City, which is a false statement. I'm going to choose false. And then I'm going to go to the right quiz tab, and then I'm going to make the same selections that I made for the previous question. So I'm going to go to the top. And all these are the same. I'm going to take out caption. I'm going to take out the incomplete and the correct. And then I'm going to change the failure message to read none. I'm going to add the clear back and the skip button. I'm going to go to the final slide, which is the quiz results slide. And if I go back over to the quiz tab to the right, it will allow me to remove any one of these options, but I think I, I want to leave all that are on here. It provides a lot of useful information for the user. I'm going to look at what the um, user is going to see when they take the quiz. I'm going to go to Preview. I'm going to select Project. This takes me to the quiz. And there's my cover page. In my first question. I'm going to select true. This is a true statement. And then I'm going to submit my answer. And then it takes me to my next question. And I'm going to say that this is true also, although I know that's incorrect. I want you to see what happens when we submit it. 
Um, it tallies the score. I got one question right and one question wrong. Um, so I have a max score of 20. And I got a 50% accuracy rate. If I wanted to see what questions I had right or wrong, I can hit review quiz. It takes me to the first question. I got right. If I go to the next question, it tells me that I got this one incorrect. Then I go back to the quiz results tab, and that is all there is to it. We've quickly and easily created a true and false quiz in Adobe Captivate 9.